I'm about half a mile east of Britain Ferry in South Wales. And there is nothing to see here of a Brunel edifice. What we're on is his mineral railway, which ran from Britain Ferry up to Glencorig, up through the Afan Valley, where there were lots of collieries. And Brunel was charged with a task around 1853 to survey a railway route to bring the coal down from the Afan Valley to Britain Ferry to the harbour that he was building. The line would be coming up a very steep incline. And the reason I'm doing this video is because this is a unique piece of Brunel work. Because in this position, we have an incline going down into Britain Ferry, where the incline is about one in 10. And I've walked up it, and it's a pretty steep climb. And it is quite revelatory to know that trains run up this gradient. But they had to be hauled up by steel cable or rope. They were coal trains. And Brunel designed special coal containers so that when the boxes or these crates were on the train taken down to the ferry, the Britain Ferry Harbour, those chutes had to open underneath the containers containing the coal in such a gentle fashion that the coal which was brittle wouldn't splinter. And Brunel came up with a very clever idea that these trains had boxes full of coal which could be emptied carefully. And it was all taken down here by a vernacular railway system operated by rope. And there were workings along here which I cannot see. Now, there was a telegraph link here between here and Britain Ferry and up to the terminus at Glencorig. Brunel was very, very busy when he designed this line, building the Great Eastern and health problems late in the late 50s. But of course, a resident engineer was employed to do the work. But Brunel was along this track. And it is really an exciting opportunity to come here and look at the geography of this place. This is a monument. It consists of a 19th century railway system. It opened in 1863. It is one of the last generation of rope hauled railway inclines designed by Brunel. And this is a unique piece of work in Brunel's life because he didn't do any constructions involving rope haulage of locomotives, which as you've seen from my earlier video in Canterbury, there was an incline going down into Canterbury, but it was not as severe as this. And this was the last generation of rope hauled railway inclines. It was constructed for the broad gauge mineral well. This was the South Wales Mineral Railway, and it linked the quarries of the upper Afan Valley with a new Britain Ferry dock. The incline was operated by a steam winding engine and was a mile in length. So this place now is one mile away from Britain Ferry and it's a straight line and it required steep hillside being cut into embankments, cuttings, bridges and there's three bridges. There's two down in Jersey Park one is a straightforward 90 degree cross section, one's a skew bridge, and further east along here, up along the incline, about a 20 minute walk, there is another bridge. And that is a road bridge, an over bridge. Now here, on the left hand side of the picture, were winding engine bases and rope routes among the low walls in a level cutting and remain at the eastern end of the incline. The incline begins in a cutting and traverses a stone skew bridge. The lower parts of the incline are in Jersey Park where a footpath overbridge retains fixings for signaling wire underneath. The incline ends with a level area for disconnection of the trains on an embankment down in 
Breton Ferry. Now this is a monument of national importance, but you wouldn't think so because there's no signs here. There's no restoration or preservation of the winding gear. <clears throat> On the left hand side, there was the winding gear, stationary engines, pulling the trains up empty or down full of coal. And this is the original broad gauge railway line that will go to Glyn Corrig. And this is the 12 and a quarter mile stretch. This is what they call incline top on the South Wales Mineral Railway. And as I must repeat, this is a unique piece of Brunel engineering because this is the only rope railway operated mechanisms that he, he, he employed on his 1200 miles of railway routes through England and Wales. And upon that, I will say to you, I hope you'll come here. It's a fabulous walk. It's not that long taking to walk up here from Britain Ferry Town to this point. It's about 20 minutes, uh, maybe 15 minutes to the third bridge where it gets a bit muddy. But otherwise it's firm underfoot and it's a very pleasant walk used by tractors, avid cyclists and ramblers. Thank you for your attention.